So it was a little bit by accident actually. So my whole sort of journey into chemical engineering was kind of by chance. So when I was at school, I was convinced I was going to do medicine and I'd prepared everything towards applying for medicine at uni. And when it got to the end of year 12 and I had to write my personal statement, I couldn't remember why I wanted to do it anymore. So I panicked and went to speak to one of my teachers and she sort of sat me down and told me to write what I liked at school, what I was good at and what I hated. And it was quite clear that I liked maths and chemistry and I was good at them and she suggested chemical engineering. So that's sort of how I got into the programme. My research was because of my fourth year master's project. So I did my undergraduate here at Manchester and my fourth year, my master's dissertation was with Stuart Holmes in his fuel cell group. Um, that was the favourite part of my degree and it just kind of followed on from there really. So a bit by accident. But... <laughs>